Before we explore safety issues related to boilers, let's better understand some things about basic types of boilers. The dictionary defines a boiler as a steam generator consisting of a metal shell and tubes in which water is converted under pressure into steam. Of course, there are many different styles and types of boilers. Boilers don't always make steam. In some cases, they simply recirculate heated water. One of the key differences between a hot water boiler and a hot water heater is that boilers retain the hot water within the system and keep recirculating it. Hot water heaters are open devices in which water leaves the system and has to be replaced. If the circulating water never leaves the system, it's a hot water boiler. Hot water boilers are rated as low or high pressure. Most hot water boiler systems operate at 30 PSIG, or less for heating homes and commercial buildings. High pressure, high temperature water systems are used principally in large central plants. To understand steam boilers, it's important first to understand a basic steam loop. In a basic steam loop, heat is added to water, which turns it into steam. Steam is transported to the load by the steam distribution piping, where it gives up its latent heat by condensing or turning back to water. Latent heat is the heat of vaporization, as opposed to sensible heat, which is the heat that can be sensed from a temperature loss. When steam gives up its latent energy, it condenses and turns back into water called condensate. The condensate is returned back to a holding tank or a deurator, where it is processed and conditioned for reuse. At this point, the condensate water's pressure is increased substantially by a feed water pump and returned to the boiler to be heated and converted again to steam. Within the steam distribution piping system are special devices called steam traps designed to allow the flow of condensate only and not steam back to the return holding tank system. Steam is a much more effective means than hot water of transferring heat. Every pound of steam condensed provides about 1000 BTU of energy. In hot water systems, one pound of water provides only about 20 BTU in a recirculated system, with a 20 degree Fahrenheit design temperature drop. This is why you don't see hot water heating systems for many process applications. It's just not efficient to transfer large amounts of energy in hot water systems. Boilers are also designated as packaged or field erected. As one might guess, packaged boilers can be hauled around on trucks or rail cars as complete units. Field erected boilers are actually fabricated piece by piece and tube by tube at a plant site. Steam boilers are also classified as being of either high or low pressure. Steam boilers designed for operating at or over 15 PSIG are considered high pressure. There are also other classifications used for boilers, including fire tube, water tube, cast iron, steam generators, and low water volume hydronic types.